Meanwhile, dethroned Emil Khan of Mohammed Sanusi II has been exiled by the Kano state government. The embattled monarch was sent on an exile to Nasara state. Photos obtained show the former Emir being sent on asylum amidst tight security. The former ruler of the Kano Emirate was dethroned on Monday following allegations of consistently refusing to abide by instructions given to him by the state government. According to Secretary to the State Government, Hootsman Alaji, the removal was in line with the recommendation of the Kano State Public Complaint and Anti-Corruption Commission, which summoned the Emir. Following the dethronement, Emir Bichi Aminu Adobaero was announced as the new Emir of Kano. And joining us live by phone from Kano is a political analyst, Aliu Bello Ibrahim. Good morning, Aliu. Can you give us an update on why Lamido Sanusi was removed? Well, um, I can say this, this is something that started from a very long time ago. Um, it started during um, the 2019 elections, where um, the government of um, Dr. Abdullah Umar Ganduje were actually accusing um, His Royal Highness Muslim Asmusi of um, working against the government in the 2019 election. And there are a lot of reasons um, that the government have given uh, with regards to them removing um, Slimy as Slimy. Some of them includes, um, they said, um, he's actually not obedient to, to the constitution. Um, there, there are a lot of cases that he has been invited for programs and he has failed to attend the programs and failed to respond. Um, they've also accused him of of actually working against Islam in Kano State, even though they've not um, give, given reasons for that, but then um, there's that accusation. And um, there's another thing that happened when go, go, um, Governor Abdullah Omar Ganduja wanted to borrow um, money from China in order to work on um, rail lines. Um, Muslim actually spoke out against it, that it is of no relevance um, for the government of Kano to actually borrow that amount of money because the project they're actually embarking on is not a profitable project and they cannot be able to repay the um, money they are borrowing. That actually prompted um, the Kano government to actually start working against um, Islamic Islamacy. And we've seen how the trend has been following. I feel, I feel this is not, no surprise to um, Kano people because We've been expecting it to reach this level. For a very, very long time, um, different people like the Vice President Yemi Usunbanjo, like the richest African man, um, Ali Kodongwati, have made all efforts to reconcile both parties. But then all of it has proven no avail. And today we've seen um, the, the final um, result. Of kind of state should have employed the means of dialogue in resolving this crisis. I think this is this is a black spot on the eminent of Kano State. Um, to have a record of impeachment as an emir is actually a bad record, and it's also a bad um, record for the emirate of Kano State. Um, the emirate of Kano State have lasted for over two thousand years, and I feel I feel it is it is of no relevance for it to reach this stage of impeachment. Um, personally, I feel dialogue would have been better. I believe both parties would have sat down and, and, and reconciled among themselves, maybe with the third party to reconcile them. But a lot has been done for them to actually reconcile. But then both parties have been proven, um, proven otherwise. Um, from the government house, uh, they've been proven they are above Sunusulami Asunusi, and also Sunusulami Asunusi have also failed to comply with some of their demands. I just want to ask, what does this mean to Kano State and its impact on, on the Emirate as it stands? Due to this problem that has been happening, we, um, Kano Emirate was split into five. There was the introduction of four new Emirates, which is Rano, Gaya, Karai, and Bichi. These Emirates, all of them were promoted to first class Emirates like that of Sunus Laimir, Sunus with the same power and everything. I think that was a major setback for the Emirate of Kano State. After that, all efforts were, were, were made to actually remove Sunusulami and Sunusi, and today it happened. I feel, I feel, I feel Kano people are actually angered about this because from the comments I've been reading on social media, people are actually expressing um, 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 their anger towards this. And I fear, 
I fear this doesn't um, actually escalate to something violent.